Yes, that was a nice card. I do love Christmas cards when they're interesting and inventive, and this is a lovely example of one sent by um, Happy Christmas for the New Year 1999, over 20 years ago now, Lawrence and Christina. I've known them for so many years, and I had to construct it. They showed me how to do it with all the mountain and valley folds, and I had to glue it on the back. But the effect is magical, because when I put it on the table, well, nothing much there. You've got to hold it at a very particular angle, and then the magic happens about there. Extraordinary, it suddenly becomes a three dimensional solid red Jeep that they're driving on. And if I turn it gently one way and the other, the oddity, the thing in the middle, the Jeep goes the wrong way to which the way I'm turning, whereas the black and white checkered roadway goes the correct way, which is very bizarre, isn't it? So that's a lovely, lovely Christmas card to receive. A lot of fun to construct and such a joy to actually create it and show it to people. One to keep forever, I think, don't you? Here's another one from Patrick Hughes. He's, he had a, one of his many exhibitions not that long ago and then handed out or gave or let you buy uh, models of it. And I had to construct it myself and glue it all together. And this is one where you have to hold it like this and then move it from side to side, rotate it, so all the doors close or open or close or open or open or close. I'll take it right the way through the cycle a couple of times. Because one way all the other doors close and the other way they all open and you can see the sky and the doors almost disappear. You call this reverse perspective and made many, many versions of it. And some of them were huge ones to put on walls of houses and of art galleries. So I do like the idea of a model one. It still works, but it's easier to carry and take along to parties and entertain people with. And that works very well. So thank you, Patrick, for that delightful piece. That. Then there's another form of optical illusion called a somatrope or salvatrope invented about 1830s, I think it was. Normally a thing you spun in your hand and a little fling flicked around. These were German ones, which I picked up at Nuremberg about um, 20 years ago, and they're just made of wood. They've got the two images. They've got a, a rabbit, a, a magician's rabbit, and a magician's hat. And you've got to get the rabbit to come out, pop out of the hat. And how do you get the two to combine? You've got to do it by spinning. This one, actually, you have to hold upside down, and then I'll see if I can get the rabbit to be popping out of the hat. <sighs> Just about, and I'm getting hyperventilated, never mind, but it's very fun to make it in the form of a really quite quite solid and quite um, dependable piece of wood, so it lasts a long time. This is a strange one, it's got a man flying through the air holding his hands up, and he's got a parachute, but the parachute's got a cathedral on top of it, a dome, Ooh, perhaps that's all made of, um, made of material and it's all hollow or something, I don't know, but anyway, we'll combine the two together just by blowing on it. You got the picture? Wonderful, isn't it? And the last one is just a, a checkered board with white on one side and black on the other side, but they have to match and marry very precisely to make the effect of a checkerboard. Here we go. Gosh, very nice and very solid and dependable and dumb. Something to show people, but I can take them along because I can put them in my pocket. The last item to show is made entirely of cardboard. And I had such fun constructing this because it was such a wonderful idea that very, very complicated inside. Look how, how much work needed to construct this piece. Look at that. All those cards had to go in place. So you find these sort of things that, uh, well, certainly in Britain, in fact in America, seaside towns, on piers or on the beach, and you put a penny or a cent in the slot, and you wind a handle, that's what we used to call what the butler saw, and the picture that appeared was really quite fun. I'll show it first to myself, just to see if it's working. And I'll turn it, I think it's, yes, like this, that's right. Oh yes, there we are. Oh yes, oh yes. Oh, it's a magician. It's a magician performing. That's good. So I'll have to do this to you now, and see if I can get it to start with. And we're gonna go this way like this. And hold it like that. 
and we'll get some lighting on it and get you to have a really good picture of it deep inside. 